Well, as we've been hearing, a blue plaque has been unveiled in Brighton today following a campaign led by a young film director from Sussex to celebrate the life and achievements of the open water swimming pioneer, Mercedes Gleitz. Mercedes was born in Brighton in 1900 and in October 1927, she became the first British woman to swim the channel, completing the crossing in 15 hours and 15 minutes on her eighth attempt. Well, now her remarkable story is being made into a movie by 21-year-old filmmaker from Hove called Elliot Hasler. It's called Vindication Swim and it's currently in post-production, but he's hoping it'll get a cinema release at the end of the year, as Piers Hopkirk reports. At her birthplace in Brighton today, recognition at last for a hero from history whose remarkable story of sporting endurance was in danger of dying with her. As the first British woman to swim the channel back in 1927, Mercedes Gleitz was a 20s sporting celebrity. She even swam the Hellespont on her honeymoon. I'm very happy and I hope to make a success of married life. I'm leaving today for Turkey to attend the Hellas Fund and I hope to win for England this additional swimming honour. A modest woman, though, who kept her achievements from her family, her story may have been lost until it was rediscovered by director Elliot Hasler. He's just completed the film telling the story of her extraordinary channel swim. She was a trailblazing icon and I think that really deserves to be remembered. You know, for women at that time it was incredibly difficult to kind of do anything, let alone a to do a kind of feat like that which was reserved purely for men traditionally and you know she went against all that and was just a real trailblazer in terms of you know female sporting uh, history. Vindication Swim charts Mercedes pioneering achievement all filmed for real in the English Channel. It was tough. It was tough. I suffered severe cramp on the really cold days. There was a moment where I was nearly pulled down by a huge mound of seaweed two miles out. The boatmen got severe seasickness. And when I found it tough, I would say to myself, well, what would Mercedes do? And it would always be she'd carry on because she was so calm and so pragmatic, um, even though she had this love story with the, with the sea. Gerard Carey from Hartley in Kent is Mercedes' nephew. I think it's phenomenal, really, because she didn't have any of the support in the modern age to do what she did um, in terms of, you know, um, the sort of physiotherapy and everything else and then the sports science. So to achieve what she actually did is, is it makes it even more remarkable. Yeah, it's great to see finally she's getting the recognition that she deserves. A sporting groundbreaker, a trailblazer for women. Mercedes Gleitz was a philanthropist too. The proceeds from her swims funding a shelter for the homeless. This Sussex swimmer's extraordinary feats now firmly written into history. Piers Hopkirk, BBC South East Today, Brighton.